hey guys welcome to my youtube channel if you are new here you are very welcome if you are also a returning subscriber you are very very welcome i'm so happy to have you here happy new year compliments of this season just you're enjoying the year already there's something important i want to share with us today and it is what was so special about queen esther i know a lot of us have read about esther in the book of esther in fact they taught us in sunday school when we were younger we know the story vashti the king the feast everything we know the story but what was so special about esther that's what i want to talk about here but before i proceed if you know you have not subscribed this is the right time to go subscribe if you're new here please go subscribe and join the family also watch all of our videos and get familiar with me already god bless you all right also special about queen esther so we know the story the backdrop of the story where the king had a feast and the king was merry his heart was merry and he requested the presence of queen vashti and then when she was called she refused the king's invitation and the king was upset and the men around him the wise men the counselors and all of that that we know advised him and they told him ah, if your queen can disrespect you in front of these women these women will go home and their husbands will be talking to them and they'll say ah if queen vashti can do it then what do you understand so the wise men advised that the king put away Vashti immediately and also you know the preceding verse if you go further in the book of Esther they suggested to the king that he you know go virgins and pick a new wife pick a new queen and all of that so um like I said, we all know the story. Esther was chosen. Now, it might have, it might have seemed at that point that it was sheer luck or coincidence that Esther was chosen. But I want to tell you why it wasn't just sheer luck or coincidence. It was not just because she was ordained to be queen. There was something special about Esther. And I want us to look at the book of Esther 4 verse 16. Esther 4 verse 16. All right. I will also encourage all ladies to go through the book of Esther. I've gone through the book of Esther countless times i want you to go through the book of esther there's just something amazing that you need to catch as a lady so i'll read from here esther 4 verse 16 okay before i read here let me give a backdrop before i read this particular part so we know that Mordecai was the uncle of esther esther was basically like an orphan she was being um, trained by him Mordecai. so Mordecai would always sit at the king's gate and there was this particular man Haman. he was um you know, promoted by the king to be among the princes and all of that. And him, everybody was to bow down to this man. But Mordecai did not bow down to this man. And the man was upset. And he did not want to just wipe out Mordecai. He wanted, he wanted to wipe out his entire, you know, lineage and the people and all of that. Everything connected to Mordecai. This is why I pray for you. In the name of Jesus, in this new year, every agenda of the enemy against your life, it shall not stand. It shall come to pass in Jesus' name. You could, you could literally see the wickedness of man. He wanted to wipe out Mordecai's lineage. <laughs> so, Mordecai heard of this and... In fact, we know the story, the king signed, you know, the petition on wiping out Mordecai's lineage and all of that, Mordecai's people. And when Mordecai heard this, he was sad, you know, put on, he was very sad, the king's gate, you know, he was, so when Esther got wind of the fact that this was happening to Mordecai, she sent somebody to go and meet him and ask what was happening. So he explained to her, that's why we're reading Esther 4 verse 16, look at what she said. She said, go gather together all the Jews who are in Susa and fast for me do not eat or drink for three days night or day i and my attendants will fast as you do when this is done i will go to the king even though it is against the law and if i perish i perish look at that so esther decided to go on a three days fasting and prayers she was going on a fast for three days. She didn't just tell them to fast for her while she would just sit down and relax and sleep. She told them fast, I and my attendants, more like the people that were giving to her to attend to her, they were also fast. And I was reading my Bible and I discovered that for her to speak like this, it meant that this was not the first time Esther would be going on a fast. 
this should have been like a lifestyle for her something that is not strange to her something that comes naturally to her esther said go on a fast i would also fast for three days we basically know that if you have not done something before you will not go on a stretch you will not go stretch on a particular thing you are not sure of or you have not or you have not done before that's how i knew that she being picked as the queen was not a coincidence follow me esther went on a fast for three days she and herself and her attendants they went on a fast and i believe that she was praying and you know the jews were praying everybody was praying and then she said it is against the law it means that anybody that goes to the king without being called would be killed regardless of who you are even to the queen and esther knew that she cannot allow her people to be destroyed esther went on a fast she could she denied herself of the king's meat she denied herself of pleasure that she could have gotten from food for three days and i'm sure she was interceding and we could see after that how you know Haman, how the king when she went to the king's palace after that you know the king invited her into um his chambers you know she found favor and we know the story we saw how from that time it was like the king could not sleep all of a sudden he remembered Mordecai that had done something for him in the time past and he could not sleep he started to open the book it's quite funny because if a king cannot sleep basically she called for people that would play soothing music for him to be able to rest but the king could not sleep and he said go and open book who does that and then they found out that ah, he said what has been done to this man that was Mordecai I'm telling you here that there are some doors you cannot open and there are some chains that will not break if you do not give yourself to prayer and fasting you cannot fight physic you cannot fight spiritual battles with physical means it's not possible in this new year there are a lot of things you are trusting god for as a guy as a lady so many things you want to do so many barriers you want to break and you are not deliberate about your spiritual life you must understand that the spiritual controls the physical it is that serious if you read the book of esther which i encourage you to do you will notice that it was after the point that esther gave herself to spiritual activities things began to change things began to shift all of a sudden Mordecai was recognized for something he had done a long time ago a lot of you there are so many people that owe you things but because you have not given yourself to the system of waiting on the lord these things have not come into manifestation i know you have new year resolutions and new year goals and visions and all of that but i tell you that these things might not be accomplished if you do not give yourself to prayer and fasting if you do not give yourself to the study of god's word if you do not give yourself to spiritual activities and when i talk about spiritual activities i'm talking about spiritual warfare there are some things that will not just come on their own if you're willing to do big things you must understand that you must have a backing of the spirit which is the holy spirit when last did you give yourself to the study of god's word when last did you decide oh i am going to give myself to a fast i will not die if i don't eat from 12 o'clock 6 till 6 p.m you will not die you will make progress i encourage you today what was so special about queen esther it was the fact that she waited on the lord till she got her answer how desperate are you for that answer how desperate are you for that thing you want god to do for you how desperate are you for that change if you are really desperate you will begin to learn the act of waiting on god learn the act of praying and saying i pray till i see the manifestation of everything god has said about me why worry when you can pray why worry when you can pray god has given you power you go to him seek the lord in the place of prayer why is this happening to me instead of complaining pray <laughs> This year is not a year of trial and error, my brother, my sister. This is not a year for you to complain. This is a year that you should shoot your shots. You should not just be on the defensive when the enemy comes. No, you should be on the offensive. When he's coming, he meets you at your gate, standing guard, empowered by the Holy Spirit, in your business, in your academics, whatever you are doing in your marriage. Like when Esther, if I perish, I perish. How desperate are you for that change? How desperate are you for that change? 
this new year, I encourage you to give yourself to God's word, to prayer, to fasting, and see how God turns everything around for your good. And this is where I decree and I pray for you in the name that is above every other name. Every agenda of the enemy against your life, it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass in the name of Jesus. You are secured, you are preserved in the name of Jesus. The empowerment you need for greatness, God is going to give it to you in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed amen so that's just it that was what was so special about queen esther she was she was not just a woman that was beautiful she was a woman that understood the act of hosting god and drawing answers from heaven she was not just queen by coincidence or luck she was queen because she pushed for that reality she pushed for that reality the favor of god is upon your life the peace of the lord is upon your life begin to enjoy it and how do you do that by staying in the place of prayer till you become this is my message to you this new year stay till you become stay in the place of prayer till you become stay in the place of fasting till you become make sure that whatever you are doing god is the center all right and that's just it and see how it, he turns everything around for you i hope you have been blessed by this message you can reach out to me if you need um if you need any um ideas or or prayers or you want to talk to somebody you can always reach out to me i'm going to link my put my email in my bio so you can reach out to me and god is going to do amazing things in this 2023 i am so psyched and i'm so happy and so excited for what god is about to do all right if you like this video please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up do not forget to comment i would love to get your feedback and hear your feedback i love hearing from you and do not forget to share this video to your friends you don't know who might be needing this particular video at this time and of course do not forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed yet my name is favor Ato, and what i do on this channel is to speak about faith lifestyle relationship and good living and that's just it. I, I told her you have been blessed and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.